What's good, man? We back, RTTV Blogs. And if it's your first time here, man, that won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. And welcome back to RTTV Blogs, where we react to everything. everything. And today, man, yo, we got we got like a video that be circling all over the YouTube scene, man. Because here at RTTV Blogs, we react to blogging, we react to YouTube content creators, we react to basketball, sports, and today we got a YouTube video that's called, let's see, how the universe is bigger than you think, bro. You feel me? So, honestly, I like videos about the, about like, you know, the universe and all that wild shit, aliens and all that. So, we gonna figure it out right now and see how small we really are. And guys, man, make sure you guys like this up. Make sure you comment down below what other videos you want us to do. But, let's get into this right now. This is Earth. You live here on this planet somewhere. Everything that you've ever known is located right here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor, the moon. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies. But in reality, the moon today. isn't this Oh yeah, I heard about planet. that. It's actually about this far away, 384,400 kilometers away from you right now on average. You could fit 30 entire Earths in between. God damn! If you were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the entire distance. <laughs> That's crazy. Distance, however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth. Yeah, I know those 12 people that have been there already. Greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them. And if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Mars. Oh surface. shit, that's fire. On average, Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. In addition, God. the time delay for sending a message from Mars Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually more like 20 minutes each direction, which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency Shit, impossible. I don't know if I would go to Mars even if I had the option to, you know, tell you the truth. Voyager 1 space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth. AU meaning astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, oh. which means that Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is. At some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. Woo! It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. That's fire! This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth. And I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you've ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and every forager. Every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer hey, of civilizations, every king and every peasant, every young couple in love, every hopeful child, every mother and every father, every inventor and explorer, every teacher, of <laughs> every course, everything at this point, every yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every supreme leader, every saint and sinner, might be the longest quote ever. Our species lived there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Damn! So once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Oh, shit. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. 
The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. Dude, we we ain't gonna have any type of technology anytime soon go over there. It would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 yeah, like, years what? to reach it. In other words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour, like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the universe <laughs> is just to finally get there, and it wouldn't wow. even exist still when you arrive. <laughs> it wouldn't even Soon exist. Out, further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy oh, inside that's of fine. which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. Wow. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years. Yo, that's crazy. Earth. This is the multiverse, bro. 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. But even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further, and we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies. How do we know this should exist, bro? Across. But zooming out even further, and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local group here is just a tiny segment of. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just like our own local group inside of here, and the distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. Like, how do we know that if our technology can't go that far up? nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance from one side to the other is 520 million light years, but from even there we can zoom out all the way to the There's entire no way, observable bro. universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything. This is the observable universe and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together contain more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire Earth. The distance from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. What's perhaps even more interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic bro, than we can possibly right ever <laughs> imagine. Yeah, bro, at this point, <laughs> like, yo, the fact that we even have that much of the universe that we know. The universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth, and the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite oh. amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. According to the theory... Man, I don't even want to see more, bro. I'm good. By Dr. Yeah, you never are, bro. It's just <laughs> <a> <laughs> <positive> <laughs> at 10 to the 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. Let this number sink in for just a moment. I this can't. would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see, was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. 
Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it. And that's a similar situation to this. We are all so unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. I'm good. Uh, what you pretty much just said there is like, we're not gonna be able to discover it. Like, <laughs> it's too, too far. Yeah, it's like, yo, the universe is so small compared to how big everything else is outside of what we can even see I right now. That it's like, yo, this probably gonna be never a time that we can even see, let alone even know about the shit that's out there. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, how, like, that's crazy. It shows you that a lot is, um, there's a lot to know. There's always endless information. Yeah. And just seeing how far it goes, it's just like breaking it down in like 150 light years. Like, it's like, probably no one living, even that machine that's doing all So if somebody, if somebody, if we do get in contact with extracurricular aliens, they have the craziest technology in the world. Yeah, nah, exactly, bro. I'm good. That's, I, <laughs> it's funny because I know from this video, it just further proves how, like, there's definitely other planets with other species and other shit out there, bro. Because of how big shit is there, like big out there, there's no way we're the only planet that got this species and shit chilling out there, bro. And shit. I've only been to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> only 12 people been to the moon on top of that, bro. So, shit, I don't know what the hell we gonna discover in our lifetime, bro. Shit's crazy out here in this, this galaxy. I didn't know how small we were, but shit. With the technology we got, I'm not gonna be surprised if we end up finding out some new shit out there, bro. But let us know down in the comments if you guys have other videos like this that you guys want us to react to, or other people that got some wild ass theories or some shit like that. We'll check it out, man. But it's your first time, man. Definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button, man. It's your boy Patrick RT. Subscribe to the RT. And that settles it at the round table.